Well, hello there. Happy Sunday. Today is Sunday. I uploaded a little vlog today. Spent most of the day just kind of editing that up as a little chip chop thing of what I wanted to do yesterday. I want to get back into the habit of vlogging just for the sake of it, for me to keep my own memories. I remember starting this whole thing back being like, dear, you know, future Evan. And I really, really, really appreciated that. And I appreciate that I'm able to look back at those things. And so the ability for me to just check back and be like, oh, cool. I went to Brick Lane, got a really nice bagel. And then went to a little party afterwards. I like being able to recall that. And so today, yeah, I've just had a bit of a chill day, but I'm going to the gym. If I'm honest with myself, I, even though I plan to go three days a week, I always end up going about two, which is still better than zero, but not really gonna get the gains I'm looking for, you know? But we're going anyway. Sweet. time, but halfway through, I felt like, yeah, it was like a slight pain that shouldn't be there. And I went, boop, I take that really seriously. I don't want any injuries anymore. So then I have to be like, nope, that's the end of it today. If I don't do that, I'm going to end up getting injured. So rather be safe than sorry, but the game's coming slow, slow and steady, win the race. I'm a mess. But like traditionally, uh, I really loved using Sunday for takeaway. I would uh, essentially work all day making sure the video was good to go and then psh, and then I wouldn't want to cook and I'd just be like, ah, I'm gonna order a nice curry, maybe a pizza, a little Chinese. I can't, I can't, not really. It's really hard to get like healthy food and I'm really taking my uh, cutting seriously. I've lost six kilograms in my last, actually seven kilograms in my last two months. Hell yeah, like I've been really trying for it, counting the cows and um, just making sure like, the amount of people at the party last night that offered me drinks and I was like, thank you. Normally I would love this, but water is the only drink for me. So frustrating, but also makes me feel good every time that something like that comes up because I'm actively choosing to make a decision that I know is benefiting me. So like it's annoying and it's difficult, but then you get that satisfying feeling afterwards of I said no to this temptation. I could have easily given up on my goal or may taken a step back, but instead I kept going. And I think that's something that I'd like to define myself with, you know, someone that really commits to things. So that is what I'm trying to do. Gosh, though, I, I'm going to cook a quick meal because like I said, takeaway is not really an option. I've found some really nice recipes that are basically like they don't taste healthy, but they're under like 500 cows. And for me, that's a sweet spot. So I'm gonna make myself one of those right now. MSG, little onion powder, garlic powder, spices. This is one of those like cannonball onions. I, wow, that's, that's a lot of onions. <laughs> a little canola oil here. Nice pinch of salt, draw out the moisture. Now we're going to add some low fat, Steak mints. Season with some kosher salt. Hit it with the grinds of black pepper. I want a lot of paprika, oh, paprika taste in here. German slash Dutch for pepper. Well, they didn't have any hoagie rolls at the old uh, place. I didn't get any hoagie rolls. So, but I have this nice big bit of bread. Covered it in some tomatoes that are seasoned. This has changed the game for me. I like putting tomatoes on sandwiches and things. But making sure every individual tomato has a small hit of salt, pepper, possibly a small amount of oil. Oh my God, <laughs> just made everything taste so much more better to have even that bit seasoned. You know? It's called a chopped cheese. I'm using a different ingredients to make it a bit more low fat. And also, it's for all intents and purposes, New York's ripping off of uh, the Philly cheesesteak. So Philly cheesesteak uses thin cuts and little steak, but he's, he's doing okay. Either. I'm using a long, the, the, the back left burner because it's the largest one. Sadly, I used to be a front front right supremacy, but now I've moved on. I'm a back left man. Put two dairy, Leah. I did do a workout, so I have extra calories-ish, but here I am committing a sin. All right, and now is the difficult part, you see. I've got to somehow get it on my very small bread. Oh, that's, that's nice looking. How's he gonna close it? Like this? 
Look at that. Come on. Tell me that isn't um, delicious looking. Oh, look at that. Wow. How's he gonna eat it? Off camera. <laughs> you whose help that was good. You would have gotten us all killed. And we needed to give Loki time to find his destiny. Spill, Spill your Change guts. Path. We can't reach it from here. Where? I've just been uh, playing a bit of Ragnarok now. It's been a nice casual evening. I feel like in my routine, most of the time, I try and get as much work as I can do before sunset. And then after that, after I have my dinner, mostly been having some gaming sessions. Make sure I do my Spanish and uh, practice a little piano. But yeah, I think I'm, I'm like 55 hours into this game. And I'm just now, I think, at like the 80% mark, which is good. Nearly at the end. That's not as long as uh, the last game, which was what? Horizon Forbidden West took 120 hours. Wow. I think I preferred that. This one's very beautiful, though. Very detailed. Very much enjoyed. Oh, wow. Ah, it's a good, good night's sleep there. Pretty good. I think I need to go ahead to the store and pick up some ingredients from a new video. Back from the shops and had a full day and a half, actually. It's not the same day. Editing means my life is a lie. Anyway, I'm currently just having a nice little relaxing time here and working on my photographic prints. So I pretty much narrowed it down. I know which six photos I'm doing six I'm gonna be printing for this run. And at this point, I'm essentially just writing the story behind each print, each photo. There's a story behind every photo that I've taken. And I like to write about what was going on that day, why I chose my composition, what my settings were about, like what were my thoughts. Like for instance, one of the photos was of Big Ben and that was actually taken like within minutes of the Queen's casket passing by Westminster Abbey. So stuff like that where I like to give a little bit of context and tell the story behind the photo. I really enjoy it. So I've written two stories so far behind two of them. Four more to go. Don't know if I'll do all that today because it takes quite a bit. I want to make sure it's like written really nicely and well, but that's something I'm looking forward to quite a lot. And after all the stories are written, oh boy. I then have to start we're like printing them and then taking photos of the prints to show what they look like in print form. And I'm very excited, I'm very excited. Uh, but there's so many things involved that my mind keeps getting overwhelmed. So I went, you know what, just do this one bit. Just do the story bit. And then later on in the week, maybe I'll do the next bit involving a lot of my embossing and stamping. And Oh boy. I did it. I finally beat Ragnarok. Oh boy. I enjoyed it a lot. I did feel like bits of the gameplay are always really frustrating. And I don't like that you're really on rails. You can't like climb over very basic walls that are like, come on. Uh, so there, there's a bit of elements that I really don't enjoy, but storyline, very good. Overall, ridiculously good, like quality graphics and music. Really well done story and everything, so. Ta-da. I liked it. Exhale, well, can you believe it's already Sunday again? I've been uh, cutting for the last two months, so what I've been eating is really pretty much the same stuff all the time. A lot of Greek yogurt, a lot of like standard granola cottage cheese, and I've been getting creative with certain things, but I've been doing really well with it, and so today I'm just making my favorite pancakes. They're just just standard buttermilk pancakes that I love so much. Full butter and everything. And I'm like, I'm allowing myself to have this little cheat day because I have been sick pretty much all week. I thought I'd be doing little vlogs all this week and showing little things, but I just had such a bad cold that I got at that party I ended my last vlog with. That's the break sometimes, but got myself here some buttermilk using a bit of lemon juice and a bit of vinegar. And just gonna mix all the wet ingredients and get to cooking. Today is Sunday, the day I'm uploading my main channel video, and I still need to film the intro in which I, I, I thought to make it more advanced. Originally, I was just gonna have it be, hey guys, uh, this is you know a standard American school lunch of mozzarella sticks. And then I went, I'm gonna buy Pop-Tarts, and I'm gonna also make pancakes, so that way I can be like, pancakes and sausage, literally a lunch in my uh, elementary school, and then mozzarella sticks can be a lunch, and then Pop-Tarts is a breakfast. So I'm gonna make this whole smorgasbord, and then I guess I'll just have to make sure I do a lot more physical fitness this week when I'm finally not sick. These uh, pancakes look so good. Also, mozzarella sticks, the marinara sauce. Look at this. Look at this. I'm, I'm very proud of this marinara sauce. Pop-Tarts, I'll ignore them, actually. 
it was really fun to actually go through this. I think it, if I use the thumbnail, I think I am going to use. It's like the most all out I've gone for an intro slash thumbnail. So really fun. I like this part of making YouTube videos, going out of the comfort zone, making sure everything is really well lit, sounds nice, and uh, over the top. But now it's finally time to eat my probably cold pancakes. Ah, oh, hello. You just caught me steaming my coat. Important things. For those of you who, for some reason, have been watching me for an incredibly long time, you might have only seen this coat in pretty much one vlog series. When I had to go to the coldest depths of Canada, I actually bought it specifically because it's capable of withstanding temperatures down to negative 20 degrees. Something you don't really need in London that often. So I just have it as that, like, backup, super heavy coat if ever I plan on going anywhere. Well, I'm doing it. I'm going to Finland. I'm going to Tampere. Not Tampir, the way I've been pronouncing it for the last six years. It's uh, actually, I believe it's the largest non-sea-touching Scandinavian city. If you gotta have a niche like that, you know it's gonna be good. So, gonna be really snowy. Basically, I felt like back in the day, I always used to just find really cheap flights and just travel and just do things spontaneously. And recently, I, especially because of COVID and whatnot, I've just been a lot more, I don't know, anxious about that type of thing and not doing as much and then being like, oh, but what about my routine? I've gotta do this and this and this. And so today, I basically bit the bullet and went, you know what? I found a flight that was like 50 quid return and I went, go in there. My, either way, it's me going out of my comfort zone again and hopefully that excites me. Also, I really don't enjoy having long hair and I think I'm gonna probably get rid of it within the next month. Yeah, March or April, chop. I just can't deal with it anymore. I don't feel like there's as many pros as I was expecting. I can always grow it back out if I want but I find it annoys me much more than anything. Like, I'll put it up in a bun, then it pinches me and it's kind of painful, and it always slips out at some point, and then I have stuff like this which still annoys me. Don't put it in a bun. Well, it's still going to annoy me. Put a hat, put a little thing up there, even not, it's just, I don't know how you do it, people with long hair. Do you just deal with being annoyed all the time? Side note, I beat Metroid Prime Remastered uh, yesterday. I literally had just got it like three days ago, but, God, they did such an amazing job on it. It's one of my favorite games of all time growing up, and they did such a good thing with it. They made it 60 frames per second. It was like so crazy good quality. They like redid all the textures, and it felt like I was reliving my childhood, and I very much enjoyed playing it over the last three days. I'm really getting back into just joyfully gaming again, now that I'm not streaming, but now I remember why I started streaming because that way I wouldn't game as much. <laughs> I think I actually made it less enjoyable to game by forcing myself to like make it a work thing so that I wouldn't game as much and be more productive. I think I'm remembering, you know, certain things. But <laughs> either way, uh, this has been a week in my life, uh, Mr. Future Evan. This one's been a one, you know? This has definitely been one of the weeks. So uh, my cold is mostly gone, steam in a coat, ready to go to Finland, and I'll be vlogging that whole adventure. So, hopefully, I'll see you for the next one from Tampere. See you then. Goodbye.